Yo, what's poppin' everyone? Welcome to a brand new video. It's your boy Ego, and today we have a brand new banner. Obviously, everyone knows about the new slime collaboration banner that has dropped. This update is insane. Now, the video that I tried uploading earlier, it had a little bit of false information, but I got the information clarified. But today, we're just gonna focus mainly on this banner, on who you can get on this banner. So, if you guys don't know, we can get Rimuru as the Rimuru, Rimaru, I don't know how to say his name, I'm sorry if I butchered it. Uh, but we can get this character on this banner as well as, uh, uh, you can get his SSR version, which is the blue one on the top. And then this SR version, which is the bottom one at the bottom, which is the slime version. So this is regular uh, human, and this is slime version of Rimuru. You can also get the original character from this banner. Now, one thing that I want to mention is I haven't summoned or touched or did anything uh, except for just doing the events. I just finished the events, and somehow she's in my she's in my box. I don't know if this was gifted to everybody or whatever the case was, but I somehow got her in my box if anyone know how this happened or anything or was i lucky or whatever the case may be let me know in the comments below because i don't know how i ended up getting lilia which is the original character which is the free char uh, apparently free character i don't even know what is going on in my box to be to be honest i got her in my box don't know how um also you can get the slime version of uh rimaru um basically by doing the event now if you guys don't know how to get to the event real quick i'm going to show you guys you go here you go click click event and then you go to the last tab no you don't go to the last tab you go here no shoot i forgot uh this one i think it's this one no that's the banner oh my god okay basically you just uh you click this right here that's the easy way the just click the the slime on the on the top left and then you basically would start all the way over here but because i did all the um events like not the i did all the missions from here to here here to here i'm gonna record some of the um the the fights in 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 the missions uh for these for uh, uh, extra videos so make sure you guys uh subscribe for that um, but this is how um, you guys can basically grind out all of these missions that you get a, a, a huge amount of gems because I was at like probably uh, 90 gems and I'm at 150 now. Okay. Uh, also, I got a free SR unit, which was the slime just by clearing the events. Um, also, at the end of the event, right, right here, let's go back all the way at the end. If you click here, I'm going to do a separate video on this. Don't worry. Uh, you click here, you get to the final valley. I'm going to call it Final Valley. You can get the free original character by completing this extreme mission, which I'll do a video on separate. But that's just crazy for me because I somehow have her already. So she's just going to be a dupe for me. Uh, this is how you get the card. I don't know how I got her. Still confused, but I got her. So I don't know. But back to the banner at hand. Um, I want to just talk a little bit about the characters. So basically, Rimaru... Rimaru, the Tempest, uh, this which is this unit, this skill, uh, this this blue unit right th right here. Uh, he's basically a really decent unit. His first skill gives you a 450% damage to one enemy, but does twice as much damage to the enemy that are buffed. I've mentioned the fact that this man is really good, or boy, or kid, or whatever. He's really good for uh enemies like the demon raids etc etc because of the twice damage that he does when demons or enemies are buffed second skill takes a stance which removes the user's immune wait no which makes the user immune to debuffs for two turns taunts them and at, at the start of the next turn recovers 50 percent health so basically healing healing uh uh based off of what what am what amount um Whatever amount the debuff was lowered. Let me see if I read that right. Takes a stance which makes the user immune to debuffs for two turns. Taunts them and at the start of the next turn recovers 50% of health that has been lowered. Okay, so if this if the unit has gotten hit, it's going to recover 50% of that health. That's what it meant. Sorry, I read that wrong. And then his ultimate removes one enemy stance um, and buffs and deals 490% of damage, which is this one. 490% of damage, causing the enemy to be stunned for one turn. So it's basically what the green Meliodas does with the stun. That's what exactly this uh, Rimuru does. 
Um, also, he has a fake combo with Meliodas, which is cool. So, because of the whole collab, it's kind of dope. And then we got the... Can I get the slime? Oh, yeah, you can get the original character. Let me just give you guys a little bit of rundown on her. Her name is Lily or Lilia. Uh, first skill, she does 300% attack towards one enemy and decreases all of that single unit's attack related skills by 40%. Alright, so that's really good. The second skill, I think that this unit's pretty good. The second skill increases the amount of damage an enemy takes by 50% for 3 turns. That's a good boost. Um, and then her ultimate uh, does AoE damage to all enemies with 350% of attack, decreasing all skills cards by 1 grade. Which means if the enemy has a skill that is at 3 stars, it'll get downgraded back to 2 stars. And etc. 2 stars back to 1 star. By the way, I got the information from the Discord, the 7 Deadly Sins Discord. Link is in the description below. Her passive is really good too, which increases allies attack by 16%, but that's basically for PvP. So, she's really good for PvP. And then the slime unit... Um, first skill removes buffs and stances of enemies and deals 400% attack. The second skill is healing all ability, all allies by 300% as well as providing debuff immunity for two turns to each ally. Alright? And then her, his ultimate deals 630% damage towards one enemy and decreases their ultimate gauge by three. So what Gother does, that's what he does. And uh, the passive is all allies recover 5% of damage health at the start of each turn so really good unit i think that this man would be really good for that new demon that new uh demon uh raid which is what's what's the name of it uh it's called infrit ifrit ifrit i don't know how to say it but yeah so again the banner is really good i would say you know drop a few drop a few uh gems into it probably two multis 60 gems uh, drop that into the banner and see if you can pull the Rimuru. You want this Tempest and Rimuru. Uh, the original character is given to you. If you pull dupes, then that's really that's cool. You can use that towards uh, you know as SSR dupe coins. Um, and then the slime is a free to play unit as well. So you're basically going for this one unit. Now you guys are probably asking, what about Bonnie Maru and uh, uh, what is it, Benny Maru and the um. Milim Nava. You guys are probably asking about those two characters, which is the other female character and the um and the uh the other dude. Uh basically, let me see, are they on the calendar? This guy, he's not he's not available yet because he comes as number three. Um then we got um Benny Maru. I think that's Benny Maru. Is it Benny Maru? I don't know these characters like that. Uh, but this character comes in in the second week. In the first week, you can get the the Remiru. Ram, R dude, these ring, these names are weird to like to to remember which one's who. We have Rimuru right now as the first unit you can get. Then we have uh, Milim Nava, and then we have Benny Maru as number three. Jeez, that's so many mistakes that I've made. I'm so sorry. I just don't know majority. Um, uh, I don't know much about these uh, new units. Okay, so um, yeah. But based off of what the information dropped, uh, I would say uh, that this unit here is good. This is the summonable one, so you can get this summonable unit as a as a uh, as a basic coin shop unit too. So that's cool. Um, so yeah, I would say summon um, two summons, two two multis would be enough just to see if you can get Rimuru. Um, and then wait on the coin shop to uh, change, get Milim Nava, and then get Benny Maru at the end. So yeah, there we go. Actually, you know what? I'm going to do a summon video afterwards. So yeah, that's basically it, guys. Um, that's all the information that I have for you guys. The banner is really cool uh, with the collab units on them as well as the original character. Just know, original character and that uh, free-to-play slime, they're free-to-play. You can get them by playing the mission. Okay, so you're just focusing on getting that Rimaru. And if you don't get a Rimaru, don't don't feel bad. You can get them from the coin shop, all right? Um, just try to get three of those coins, and you can basically get it off the coin shop. But you have to summon, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Not too sure, but yeah. Um, but grind out these missions, guys. Make sure you guys definitely grind these missions out. Uh, because this is how you can get like skins and stuff like that from the shop. So if you go to events... And you go here, open this up, all these things you can basically buy 
which they have SSR medals. You can get five of them. Uh, make sure you grind these out, like 100% grind them out. Then also grind out for the UR chests because during this event, you can get 20% of an increase in gold by selling them. All this other stuff, I'm not too sure about these chests. You guys can let me know what you guys got by opening those chests because I'm not too sure. I'm not certain on what you can get. So that's just the chests and SSR, SR medals. Over here on the second tab, you can get the free-to-play character, the original character coin. You can get two of them. Uh, you can also get the coin for the slime. You can get two of them as well. So these are just dupes, okay? And then here, this is these are just um, like, you know, wigs. Um, clothing, uh, uh, accessories, etc., etc. All right. So, yeah, you can get clothing. All right. So somebody had pointed out before that it was clothing. So they're clothing because there's a hanger next to it. Thank you to that guy that you know said it really rudely to me, but I appreciate your con your comment. All right. So, um, yeah, guys, make sure you guys grind out those missions. It's important that you guys grind the the missions out. Okay. So. If you guys don't know how to get to it there's, there's like a little marker thing up here above the hawk you click that and it takes you to an event area so grind them out and yeah thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed hit that like subscribe notification bell ring it and i'll see you guys next time peace